We're going to take a quick look at the upcoming games of the week. Yes. Starting with, oh, Miami's going back to the freezer again. Yes, we just covered that. Y'all got to go to Buffalo. We're back in Buffalo. It's going to be probably about 22 degrees or some crazy shit like that. Y'all might turn into some fish sticks. Um, I don't know Buffalo. I don't know if they got a open dome or what. They got an open dome, huh? No. It's a stadium. Oh, okay, they got a closed stadium. Cool. Right on the edge of the lake. Hey, there you go. Y'all might turn into some fish sticks. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Jets at the Patriots. Yes! This is what I need. I need the Jets. Hey, y'all should be mad. We, we whoop y'all ass. So, go in there with that momentum from losing and beat the fucking Patriots. Boom! There you do. And I predicted that Jacksonville... There you go. I, pre I predicted that Jacksonville would fire their coach, and they did. Tennessee. Minnesota and Green Bay. Um, I don't really care. Chargers. Aaron Rodgers, shout out. Hey, I don't like you too much. Last year, let me tell you a story. Last year, um, you did a fake snap. And you beat us in like the last two minutes or something. I, I don't shit. like shit like that. I remember that. Yeah. Chargers in Cleveland. Come on, Chargers. We're kicking the Redskins over the Bears. Y'all suck. Um, Jake Cutler's on the way out. Cam Newton's going to dab all over the Falcons. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Luck. Ooh, this is probably going to be the game of the week. The Colts and the Raiders. Coats and Raiders. Oh, I got Raiders. Unfortunately, the Raiders are trending. Up. I got the Raiders. But so is Andrew Luck. I pick Indianapolis. Wait a minute. Okay. In the game yesterday, I think the Chargers' momentum went down when they had a touchdown overturn. Um, I think that's what happened to them. Like after that, they probably it just, just like it, it just popped our tires. Yeah. <laughs> uh, after that, the self-esteem, everything, the motivation, it, our tires. it was all gone. Oh wait a minute, Tampa Bay's playing New Orleans again. After what Drew Brees did yesterday. Oof. Drew Brees. Drew Brees. <laughs> Cardinals and Seahawks. Cardinals and the Fuckhawks. Well, I, after what I heard last week, I'm not calling them that. I'm I take the Cardinals. Them. I don't care, man. Jay, I don't care, man. I don't like your Seahawks, man. I'm picking Seattle. I'm going to go before now. Let's, hey, here's my prediction. Hold on. 23... 10. <laughs> the Rams ain't got no offense. Cardinals. And Colin Kaepernick has kind of been resurgent slightly. But the Rams ain't got no offense. I'm picking the 49ers. <laughs> I'm going 49ers too. <laughs> Cincinnati and Houston. Ooh. Y'all gave that quarterback all that money and now y'all throwing him on the bench. I'm picking Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Eric. He sounds pretty convinced. Hey, Cincinnati. Hey, here's my prediction. Black 33, Cincy. And <laughs> let's say 17. Who are they going to play? Houston and Cincinnati. Yeah. But the game 17 Houston. Texans. There you go. Mm. I wish J.J. Watt would come back. And Jadavion Clowney. This should be a good game. What is that? Sunday night? Well, these are a couple extra games. Ooh, Pittsburgh and Baltimore. Ooh. This, I think I need Baltimore to... Um, this is a black and blue. This is a game that's Let's see. This, this is normally a rivalry that leaves people black and blue after they play because they just hit so hard. I, back the Dolphins beat the Steelers, so therefore we need the Steelers to beat Baltimore because we lost to Baltimore. That's on. how you do it. That's what strategy is all about. Hold on, but I, I'm, I'm down with Le'Veon Bell. Pittsburgh. <laughs> hey, I'm down with Pittsburgh Steelers. Also, let's give you that score. 24 to 21. It's going to be a close game. Yeah, it's going to be close. It's there you close. go. Steelers. All right, Denver and Kansas City. I think I need the Chiefs to beat them. I don't like none of them. Yeah, I don't like Chiefs, them. go in there and get the dang. Oh, Actually, go in there and um, get something done. absolute game of the week. Hold on. Let's pull up. On Detroit and Dallas. Skip! <laughs> game of the week. This back does. Back. It is going to be a good game. This game is for playoff positioning. This is for Detroit Monday. And this is next this Monday is a, night. This might be a playoff preview. Detroit and Dallas. And remember that. And, re and remember that call. That playoff game a couple of years ago. That pass interference. Detroit that y'all didn't get. <laughs> I don't remember that. I don't remember I watching do. the game. 
And then Dallas got got on that Des Bryant catching up in, in Green Bay the next week. But that's not going to happen. I think Dallas. <laughs> hey, I don't like all this talk about rookie quarterbacks. The greatest rookie quarterback of all time. Everyone knows that. Dak Prescott! <laughs> I was going to say Demarino. Dak Prescott. <laughs> I was going to say the 1984 class. You know Prescott. it. They had Jim Kelly, Dan Marino, all, a couple more Dak quarterbacks. Prescott. I threw their names down there or something. But, yeah, that's the greatest rookie season of all time. Dak Prescott, I'm predicting the game. I hope the Lions come through and roar, roar, roar on that ass. Hey, I'm going to give it to Detroit, 28-14. Boom. Just for me. Just remember. The babies, what? I don't care about the babies. Barry Sanders is not walking through the door. <laughs> Dallas hey. will keep that stranglehold. And with that, we're just letting you guys know we have a name for ourselves now. We do? Yes. Sports Talk with... Trevick. Trevick, there you go. That's this key. motherfucker forgot. <laughs> oh, I was 